G'day guys, Paul here from The Hook and The Cook. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to get into doing a little bit of camp cooking. i uh, got a bit of a problem. My pot looks a little bit rusty and it's a bit of a mess. So I'm going to show you how to clean this pot up today and bring it back to uh, looking absolutely brand new. So let's give it a go. First thing I've got to do though is light the fire to get some coals burning. Okay guys, going to get this fire going. I'm definitely not going to be rubbing a couple of sticks together, that's for sure. So we can get this guy going. I've got a bit of paper in here. I know you'd love to see me rub a couple of sticks together, but I'll be here all day, guys, and it becomes quite a boring video. Now we've got no fire restrictions here on the on the coast at the moment. So that's something that you should always check before you even think about making a fire. But uh, we have a lot of moisture up here on the uh, sunny coast and um, yeah, we do have fire, you know, fire restrictions every now and again, but nothing like we do down in New South Wales, where I used to live. So I get to uh, cook quite a bit on the fire since we've moved up here. So I've got a little bit of a subtly breeze coming, and that should be rip roaring in a second. Now I'll get back to you when we've got some coals. So what I'm going to be using today uh, to actually um, clean this pot up, as you can see it's nice and rusty, someone left it out after they last cooked on it, don't know who that person was, but you can see it's a little bit rusty, we've had a lot of rain up here, and um, so what I'm going to do is whack it on the coals, get a heat, a, as much heat as I possibly can on here, and um, I'm also going to put some salt in here and that will basically cure the pot, keep it nice and non-stick. Also, I'm going to use a little bit of alum aluminium foil. It's a little trick that somebody showed me. And um, to get all this rust off, you just use a little bit of aluminium foil and it actually reacts with the metal and the rust just comes straight off. And then I'm just going to rub it with a little bit of oil. So what we're going to use is some oil, salt and some foil. So the fire's looking pretty good at the moment, so it's going to be time for me to uh, just start to prep this pan up a little bit. Okay, basically to prep the pan up, any rust marks like this we've got on here, you'd be amazed just how well this actually comes off with the foil. So it sort of just cleans up so quickly. Pretty impressed with this little method. So I'll just give it a little light rub. all around the lid, anywhere I can see a bit of surface rust, like so. It's a bit of a messy job, but it's my own fault for leaving it in the bloody rain. Now, I'm going to throw a heap of salt in here. the lid on and we're going to clean this puppy up. Any coals in there at the moment. Oh she's hot. And that salt will start to work in there now. So I'm going to leave that guy there just to uh, cook away for maybe a couple of hours and then I'll have enough coals to probably uh, cook a nice, um, thinking about doing some beef in red wine tonight. So you'll probably see that on another clip and uh, we'll see how we go. You can see a bit of sweat coming off my forehead there. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Okay, and I'll show you what the pot looks like uh, a little bit later on. There's the dogs having a bit of fun. These guys will be hanging around the pot a little bit later on, trust me on that one. On you girls, hey? On ya. You? You'll both be hanging around that pot waiting for a feed. Hey. 
we go. Let's brush all this guy off. Then we're just going to turn it out. At this stage now, it's very, very hot, so just be really careful. I'm just using an old brush here. So all I've got to do now is just oil this guy up, and he's going to be as good as new. So I'll just get some vegetable oil. That's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Just got to do the outside now. Now we've got to keep that oil in there. And uh, the way to store it, basically what I do is um, I get a good bit of um, kitchen paper towel and just store it like this and store it in your shed. And definitely don't leave it uh, hanging around <laughs> out in the rain and out in the elements. So there you go guys, beautiful pot, nice and clean, ready to cook. We've finally got something to cook in, now it's nice and clean. It'll be a lesson for you. Do not leave your pots in the rain like I did for three months. Um, otherwise it's quite hard work to fix them. Um, yeah, but at least now we've got something to cook in. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you next week on The Hook and the Cook. And if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And also, um, please subscribe. From me, a one well-fed dog that's sat right here. She's well-fed, as you can see. <laughs> we we'll look forward to seeing you next week on The Hook and the Cook, every Friday. Cheers, guys.